Welcome back to another delivered review. Before you leave, look what's coming up. So this week we are doing again the Chili Jam range, but the alternative, because I couldn't think of anything else to try. And I thought, well, I'm sure this is going to be limited in terms of time. So let, let's just try the chicken wire. I haven't had one for years. As you see there where it all started, the home of the Whopper. Uh, if you haven't checked out that video, have a look at that video. It's the double Whopper. And it's a pretty good, I think, pretty good review and a pretty good burger, to be fair. So Burger King doing the chili jam range and I haven't, as I say, had one of these for a long, long, long time, a chicken royale and a subscriber asked, you know, kind of the difference of this to a standard, I guess, um, chicken burger, kind of, you know, any other chicken burger, McDonald's, any others, um, versus royale. And I, I'm not 100% sure the, the bottom line, but just a different bun, toasted sesame seed bun, um, obviously a different shape, like a sub roll, um, with a fillet, or supposed to be fillet, um, you know, chicken. And I think they, you know, especially from having it now, are a far better burger, if you want to call it a burger. But we'll come to that in a minute. So the fries, I think, I can't knock. Like, the, the box, again, I don't know whether Burger King, well, not again, but... I'd, all the videos I've done, are Burger King watching these videos? I'd, I have no idea, but the box is brilliant. Like, it should have been like that from day one. You can see the fries are far um, less kind of squashed or squishy. Um, crispy, soft on the inside, exactly how fries should be. Fries, chicken royale, share a box, as you can see on the screen, um, just so you can see the layout. But the fries themselves, not that you needed fries to be pointed out, but the fries were far better, so I can't knock them. They were just they were how fries should be. Anyway, onto the share box, which I think to start with straight away is good value, which we'll we'll talk about in a second. But five pieces of each, so starting off with the onion rings, crispy. They got like a I don't know, maybe an enhanced flavour or something like that. But the onion itself was kind of um, you know fried onions. If, if you think of fried onions with the crispy coating on, they were kind of like a pub uh, onion ring. They were they were pretty good. Um, Maybe some people prefer a bit more substantial onion, but as everybody probably knows by now, I don't particularly like raw onions, but they were they were really good. The Doritos fries, as you can see there, I've had them before. They were, I think, good, all over their processed chicken, but you know, and again, this this review this week, I'm I'm really I can't moan about anything, like which is obviously rare. Um can't be negative about anything, which you know, I think there's the place to be, you know, things should be. Um, in the direction of getting better. These chili cheese bites, I think, are brilliant. They've got like a nacho cheese with the um, chili flakes, or sorry, pieces of chili in the cheese. The only downside is the um, the batter is a little bit hard, but I can't really knock that. They're a good uh, good chili cheese bite as they go. Now, I don't know what's going on with Burger King, and I'm pretty sure somebody's doing something dodgy because I think they've robbed McDonald's. Like, these are almost identical to McDonald's chicken nuggets, and I've had chicken nuggets from before and they they were nowhere like nowhere near like this like literally i mean you see there it looks like a mcdonald's chicken nugget even the batter's the same so i don't know perhaps they've you know found a broken down mcdonald's lorry and whatever but either way they were good nuggets so five pieces of each brilliant um onto the advertised versus reality again okay that looks completely different. Actually, the picture there, the chili jam, was on the bottom. But I did say this other week that the chili jam should be on the bottom, but the double whopper is on the top, and it made everything kind of slide about. Um, so maybe they're not watching these videos, which is, you know, I'm guessing that probably isn't the case. But either way, um, much better built um, burger or sub roll or you know royale. Um, a nice piece of chicken in it. Again, I don't think it was a fillet, but it was a, it was a good piece of chicken. Um, could be a little bit bigger. That's probably the only downside. But overall, as a, um, you know, McChicken sandwich equivalent or McCrispy, if you've not seen those videos, check those videos out. There's a versus McDonald's versus Burger King. Good burgers, but a Chicken Royale, um, as the name goes, is a little bit more, it's just more substantial. Um, a better burger, but again, I don't know whether I should be calling it a burger, but either way, um, a better bun definitely held together far better. And as I say, kind of the build of it was a lot better. Um, lettuce, mayo, cheese, bacon. Again, whether you can call that bacon or not, I don't know, but it was there. You could taste it. Um, and the chili jam definitely gave it a kick, like a nice little bit of heat, not too much. It, it isn't sweet, um, but I definitely say it's a, a nice kick to a, a, what would be kind of a, you know, essentially a, a McChicken sandwich is quite plain, you know, especially with just mayo. So a good burger. I mean, overall, I've got nothing else to say for a change. Um, 
it was a good meal. Like, I really, it's not definitely not a disappointment review. Um, what else can I say? It was a good meal. Like, I'm not going to say 10 out of 10 because it is still a Burger King, but as you'll see in a second, um, the ratings are, I, f I think, you know, probably some of the highest I've given um, 9.5, 8, and 9. So I would definitely say try it. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I appreciate every one of you. I'll be on to the next one next week.